Hello and welcome to Geeky and Tweaky. This is video number 2 of 3 from the complete setup guide of Fire TV Stick. If you have not watched the first video yet, I will encourage you to watch that first. In the first video, we talked about all the input methods that you can use to control the Fire TV Stick. In this video, which is part number 2, we'll be talking about how to get apps on the Fire TV Stick from the Google Play Store and other sources. In part 3, we will see live TV and streaming options on the stick. Here in part number 2, we will see side loading options using various apps like ES File Explorer, Apps to Fire and even from external storage media. Towards the end of this video, you will see two alternative stores which can be used instead of Google Play Store. While the Aptoid store has its own database of apps, the Aurora store actually pulls the app from the Google Play Store only. It can mimic various devices. We will see that in detail. In part number one, you have already seen how to use the downloader from the Amazon App Store to sideload apps. We saw mouse toggle installation using the same method. So let's move on to the next method now, which is using the ES File Explorer for the sideloading. Please note that this app is now banned in India so that's why I've kept it in a separate video. Link to that video is given in the information card and the description below. A good alternative for the ES File Explorer is the Solid File Explorer. I have switched to that ever since the Great Firewall of India has blocked those apps. The Solid File Explorer has good options for file browsing and media playback from local sources, from the LAN and from the cloud-based storage but it doesn't have the feature of installing apps to the Fire TV Stick. For that purpose, I am now using another app called Apps to Fire. On your mobile phone, go to the Google Play Store and download Apps to Fire app. I have already downloaded it, so let us start it. Upon startup, it will scan for all the locally installed apps. Now we need to go to the Setup tab first and search for the Amazon Fire TV Stick connected on the same local area network. Once discovered, click on the Fire TV Stick IP address. It will show a successful connection message. Click OK and go back to the Local Apps tab. From where we can select apps to install. Let's try Airtel Xtreme. Click on the app and select Install. The app will get transferred from your phone to the Fire TV Stick. Once the installation is complete, you can go to Settings and Manage Apps to see whether the installation was successful or not. Although it did get installed, but it didn't work. We will see in part 3 what are the workarounds for that. For now, let's move on to the next method which is Aptoid Store. For installing the Aptoid Store, we will use the good old downloader. But first, let's search and copy the download link. It is better done with the Fire TV Stick remote app rather than the physical remote. So let us use that. Now back in the downloader, go to the browser option and paste the link that we just copied. It will take you directly to the Aptoid TV download page. Scroll down and click on the download button. It will download the APK file and the installation will start for the Aptoid store. Once the installation is complete, open up the store to search from a wide variety of apps in various categories. Aptoid Store can not only install apps, it can also look for updates for the already installed apps. Just for an example, let's search for VLC Player and install it from the Aptoid Store. VLC and the MX Player are my favorite media players on the Android devices because they are very stable and very feature rich as well. Now let's look into another alternative store. The Aurora store is one of the best Google Play Store alternatives for the Fire TV Stick. Let's first find out the link to download and install the Aurora store. 
copy the link and head back to the downloader app. Paste the download link in the browser and install the Aurora store. Ok, so the installation is complete. Let's launch. Click next. Do not use your Google account to login. Instead use anonymous login. That is recommended. Now the first thing that you will notice in the Aurora store is that it doesn't play nice with the Fire TV Stick remote. So instead of using the Fire TV remote app, let's start using the Citrus Play app. Citrus Play app has got the mouse mode which will allow us to control the virtual mouse pointer in order to navigate through the Aurora store. First let's check some settings. Go to the spoofing option in the top left menu. Select device spoofing. Here you can select various devices which your Fire TV stick will pretend to be when interacting with the Google Play Store via the Aurora store. Nvidia Shield is a good device to mimic. Similarly, you can also spoof the location. By spoofing a location, you can even get access to the apps which are not available in your region. For now, I am selecting Delhi, India. Once you are done with the settings, relaunch the app for the changes to be effective. Now just for an example, let's download and install MX Play. The look and feel that you are going to get is pretty close to the Google Play Store. And since the apps are also coming from the Google Play Store, the variety and availability of apps is very wide. And now let us see side loading from external storage. In part number 1 you saw how you can use a USB OTG cable to connect memory sticks to the Fire TV stick. And then you can use any file browser to browse for the APK files from the memory stick and install. If you do not have a USB OTG cable, even in that case you can at least install from network locations like Google Drive or a folder shared from your laptop or mobile phone. Solid File Explorer is very useful in this case. So let us search and install it from the Aurora store. Now while it is getting installed, let me also tell you that if you install the Solid File Explorer on your phone, you can share folders from your phone as an FTP drive, which you can access from the Fire TV stick. Okay, so the Solid File Explorer is now installed. It's time to configure network access. Let me quickly configure my network attached storage. In one of the folder there, I have kept a lot of APK files which are very useful. As an example, I am installing one of my favorite apps from there, that is Space Desk. Alright, so those were the app installation methods I wanted to share with you in this part 2. I'll see you in part number 3 with options related to live TV and media streaming. Till then, do like, subscribe and share. See you in the next one.